This is the first of a series of videos in which I will show you how to compute the minimum spanning tree of a set of random points and then display them in an animation similar to what you see now. Throughout this series of videos, I will show how to load into the program Paraview. As part of my description of Paraview, I will talk about the file format that is used as input. I'll talk about how to load up the data into it and create some of these color mappings that you see here. I will then go on to talk about how to compute the spanning tree of the three-dimensional points by first using the Seagal library to generate a triangulation of the points, followed by how to use the Boost graph library to compute the minimum spanning tree. As part of my description of the Boost portion, I will go into uh, some of the things that could be a little bit better documented in the Boost graph library, including things like how to pass parameters to the algorithms, how to wrap your own uh, graph structure, as well as how to use the adjacency list structure that is provided with the Boost Graph library. So I hope that you enjoy this series. Please leave comments and let's get started.